Yeah, man. So look at this geezer, bro. Any right-minded person would think this nigga is on his deathbed, right? And this nigga needs to sit his old ass down somewhere. Well, what if I told you this old ass nigga is a dang dog, bro? And he is freaking 2,100 years old. And look at this nigga eyebrows. You can damn near braid them mofos. Do you know how long a nigga had to been living for a nigga eyebrows to touch his chin. One thing these old geezers and anime got in common though, them niggas gonna have some bald ass heads, I tell you that. By the way, there are spoilers from Bleach Thousand Year Blood War in here, so if you ain't seen that shit, you've been warned, nigga. So this nigga Yamamoto over here in the squabble with the mofo, they've been fighting for a thousand years. His name is Yuwak Yacht. Lil, Lil Yachty? Okay, however you pronounce that shit, y'all get it. Okay, we already know this nigga Unk Yama is different though because he got these stank ass Luffy sandals on and his feet is literally on fire with every step. Anyone in anime that has a fire power are usually dogs of their verses. And if that nigga walking towards you in some walk with me, Lord. Yeah, if he walking towards you in those kinds of sandals, yeah, you know damn well he mean business. Huh? When the hell did that geezer take his mans back? Uh, so it's been a thousand years, huh, you ha? Since I last ran your broke out pockets. Then you got the opposing ops over here thinking shit sweet. Bruh, our leader is a dog. That geezer could never compare. True, true. Our leader is a geezer, but that nigga been writing diss tracks for over a millennia. So just don't think that shit sweet. He is not no doodle bob. Ah, we cast geezer. Uh. Oh, Joe, we got the strongest unk in the verse. Dog. 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 Ugh, you young whippersnappers always jumping. You should know you can't jump a real OG. Bruh, how the heck are you even supposed to fight this nigga? Nigga is literally dressed like the unk at the barbecue with the sandals on, throwing down on the grill. And he has a firepower? This old ass nigga is unk incarnate. Ugh, let me cook real quick, youngin. Yeah, so now these niggas scrapping for real, for real. And I don't know if it's just me, but this new bleach animation be having me finna bust. So you finally pull out that rusty ass spatula you call a sword, huh? Ugh. Well, I was trying not to turn my whole block into some grilled chicken, but you forced my hands to fry, nigga. God damn, Unk done did it. Boys, hot as fuck, and I forgot my chapstick. Bankai, Uchi fryer, nigga. Bankai? That rusted ass spatula was causing all of this? This geezer done somehow contained all of the fire diss tracks ever made hey. and put them into his sword. And then he hey. flipped the oh, oh, oh my damn. This nigga barely tapped the ground with that sword and just eradicated a city's blocks worth of concrete. If matters couldn't get any crazier, Ugh, I ran your pockets years ago. And you come back thinking shit's sweet just because I grew a little older, huh? Ugh, well, just know. I'm Batman. Now you're probably thinking that was this old ass nigga's trump card, right? He can't have more up them dingy ass sleeves of his. Nah, this is an anime old head. These niggas are built different. Uh, if I can fry a nigga, I must be able to roast a nigga. Uh, time to end this, my friend. If I don't end this soon, all of my niggas are gonna roast with you. Bruh, this nigga Unk Yamamoto's power is so crazy. This nigga drive-bys are written down in the history books. Damn, this nigga got me in this bit parsed as hell. Even my leftover perky juice ain't even enough to quench my thirst. What's wrong, OG? You just gonna stand there and let me roast you like a jive turkey in a oven? I don't blame you, though. If I was standing in front of the unk of all unks, I would be cramping my pants, too. Nah, unk then graduated from Flamer Nigga University. Not only is he running this nigga pockets, but he got jokes, too. Now the unk, unk is pissed and tries to hit unk Yama with that perky juice arrow. But unk ain't having that shit and weave that shit like he saw that shit about five minutes ago. Now it's time to really get serious. And Unk Yama has one of the most disrespectful recipes he wants to show this op. If I can fry a nigga, I can roast a nigga. But I can also revive a nigga. You see these skeletons? Those are all your dead homies. I've been smoking on their packs for years. And couldn't wait to show you how many packs I have now. Now let me go ahead and finish you off. OG recipe. Teach him a lesson. Yeah, he just gutted that op like a fish. And now he over here standing like, That was some good exercise. Really good for the knees. I don't know what the heck they be feeding these unks to first off keep these niggas alive. But secondly, why are these geezers always so damn strong? I haven't seen a geezer in an anime that I've watched that wasn't a dog in some way, shape, or form. Speaking of geezers, we got another old ass unk. This nigga Netero from Hunter Hunter. 
So Hana Hana has a good amount of geezers in the show, but this nigga Netero literally exudes Black Air Force energy. Bruh, he literally trained in the wilderness like some hippie and punched the air in one stance over and over and over again. At this point, my guy's fists are lined with the laces of a Black Air Force. And he definitely not as old as Aunt Yamamoto, but don't think they give him a pass. This nigga is 120 years old. Well, Unc Netero's opponent is no other than Bug Jesus himself, Nero. Well, Nero wasn't with all the small talk, so he gets straight into action. My guy started praying so fast that he distorted time. Well, Unk's prayer summoned the damn Buddha statue from Icebox and karate chops Nero. Well, Nero is like that roach in the house that you can never kill. So he was not phased by that shit, of course. Bruh, how many arms does this thing have? Anyways, they helped because Nero pulled a Mr. Miyagi and caught Nero, man. But like I said, though, Merum is literally the god of all bugs. You gonna have to have some spray for that nigga. And I know any kind of spray, I mean that raid, if you really wanna phase him. Well, Unk had to hit him with another prayer. This time though, he was hit with that holy ghost and was hitting Merum with the hands of anointment. Oh my damn, bro. He's literally smacking this nigga Merum. But Merum is not sweet, like I said, and proceeds to rip Unk Nedro's leg clean off like a damn turkey leg at the fair. But Unk like, ugh. I ain't need that leg anyways. I was tired of those knee replacements. And then he smacks his leg so hard that his leg puckered up like a cat's butthole and stopped the bleeding. But now Bug Jesus ain't playing with the games no more and starts dissecting Netero's ass. Now he's missing an arm and a leg, but that didn't stop Monk from praying. Lord, hit this bug with a blast of that raid forever gone. Monk catches Merum again and shoots a gust of raid so powerful that it absorbed all the remaining energy from his body. Now my guy over here dried up like some Jack Link's beef jerky. And you would think this shit is over, right? Unk just used his strongest recipe on this cockroach. Nah. Unk is fighting Bud Jesus. That shit just left him with a couple scratches. You thought that would kill me? I carry the power of all my fallen bugs. Y'all humans have killed over the years. I can't be beaten. <sighs> Well, since I'm on my deathbed, might as well show you why us old heads are built different. Alakba! Tactical nuke incoming! Bruh, Unk was saving his nuke kill streak and just eradicated the entire lobby. Like, bruh, these old heads will do anything to win the warns, bruh. Now look at Merum. That raid bomb and turned my guy into a turd, bruh. What didn't happen? Next, we welcome a new Unk to the list. See, I could have mentioned the strongest Unk, Master Roshi, or even that peanut head ass nigga from Juice Juice Tsukaze. Nah, this time though, we're gonna introduce old head Zeus from Record of Ragnarok. Now, this zesty ass old head is on some other shit. Yeah. Look how shriveled up he is. How do you go from this to this? Like, what the hell is this nigga taking? This nigga taking the protein powder of the gods or something. Zeus is definitely in the small penis gang with them kind of muscles, though, I tell you that much. And of course, he's fighting another zesty ad character. Like, why the hell is this nigga butt cheeks out? Ugh. How should I whip you into shape first, youngin? Then Zeus blitzes at him on some one punch man shit. Ugh. Tell me how this knuckle sandwich tastes, my boy. Weave. Of course, Adam ain't sweet, though, so that shit gets the weave of the century. Uh, you a fox, young whippersnapper, aren't you? But Zeus continues to throw the hands over here looking like he using the unk unk no gatling. I know this is about old heads, but this nigga Adam is weaving the heck out this nigga punches. But Zeus is tired of the BS and starts dancing like the penguin from Happy Feet. And this nigga grows bigger. Unk charges up one of them Ja Jenkins from Hunter Hunter. Uh, see if you can dodge this boy. <laughs> Sorry, my nigga. But Adam just punched this nigga so hard, his head is facing the wrong way. Well, Unk Zeus wouldn't be on this list if he was that sweet though. <sighs> Damn, I haven't met a youngin who can box me like that in years. And proceeds to turn his head back around like that shit wasn't just broke a second ago. Bruh, this ain't no damn paranormal activity. What kind of shit is we on now? Then transforms into his best form, the ultimate old head. Well, in this form, this nigga is faster and stronger and is literally wailing on this nigga Adam. Unk beat him so bad, he got him standing up dead like when Rock Lee fought Gara in the Chunin exams. Bruh, these old head unks are just built different. I just don't know what to say anymore. The OGs demand their respect. Anyways, thanks for all the support lately. And guess what? I've decided on the name gonna call my supporters the jutsu mafia so y'all spam that like button subscribe comment but anyways join the dojo peace